Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. I just want to um, talk about, you know, well really I'm going to talk about this article, another article from the Jasmine brand is, you know, talking about Lizzo and Ari Spears. But before I get into that, I'm going to read from my Walk in Faith book, prayer book. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read the prayer. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he had not seen, vainly puffed up by his freshly mind. And this is from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 18. Here's the prayer. God, I am scurrying around like a chicken with his head cut off, making a huge mess everywhere I go. Why, God, when I know I do better and walk more efficient, efficiently when I wait quietly and listen for your guidance? Do I rush, do I rush about driven by time rather than by you? Help me, God, to slow down, to be silent so I can hear you and do your will, not mine. Okay, I'm going to get into this article from the Jasmine brand. Okay, it's from um, August 30th, about three or four days, about four, four days ago. Turn this phone off. Okay, it's from the um, it's from the Jasmine brand, and the name of this article is Lizzo says I was addressing everybody. Following speculation, she was reacting to comedian Ari Spears for fat shaming her. And this article is I can't really say the, the young lady's name, but I'm gonna put her name down in the description box below. So I'm going to read this article. Lizzo says, I was addressing everyone following speculation. She was reacting to comedian Ari Spears for fat shaming her. Lizzo, real name Melissa Vivian Jefferson, is currently feeling good as hell after not leaving the MTV Video Music Awards empty-handed and not even a critic like Ari Spears could bring her down. In her acceptance speech, Lizzo said, I do know what a music video, I don't know what a music video for good, me, for good means, but I do know what your vote means, and that's, a, and that's a effing lie. Your vote means everything to me. It means everything to making a change in this country. So remember when you're voting for your favorite artist, vote to change some of these flaws that are oppressing us. I want to say thank you so much for supporting me and loving on me. And then she went on to reference Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, VMA's speech from 2015, Lizzo added, I want to say thank you so much for loving me and supporting me. Now to the bees that got something to say about me in the press. You know what? I'm not going to say nothing. Why don't you clap back? Because B, I'm winning. And then it um, has a picture of Lizzo's um, Twitter page. And she's saying in the tweet, keep my name in your MF in, in your mouth. Because I know it tastes good, B. And that's from the 28th of um, August. Okay, so let's get to what um, Ari Spears had to say about her. Comedian Ari Spears has come under fire for his fat phobic attack on Lizzo. During an appearance on the Art of Dialogue, Ari Spears said, I can't get past the fact that she looks like the shit emoji. 
she's got a very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body off like, come on, man. Come on, yo. I'm sorry. Listen, I ain't the most in shape in, in the world, but I still, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence and you decent looking, I think I'm at least handsome. You got that wrong. I don't know who told you that lie. You get coochie, basically. I don't see how you get it. I mean, I see that you got money, but if you ain't had no money, you wouldn't be getting it. But um, anyway, let's get back. But a woman that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes is in trouble. And they showing a YouTube video of him going off on um, Lizzo, basically. You know what kills me about women in the in the hip hippo something hypocrisy hypocrisy and the contract and contradiction f debates f heart problems f heart disease cholesterol you all claim womanhood and about sisterhood and support for your sister you know when it comes to that ridiculous ish. But if you really gave a F, why wouldn't you go? Black girl, we love your confidence, boo-boo. But this ain't it. This ain't it. Harry Spears added, that's the real love. You all jump on me for making jokes, but you all won't be effing real and go, sister, put the eclair down. This ain't it. It's treadmill time. Hmm. Fans, of course, came to Lizzo's defense. One Twitter user said, Lizzo really do just be minding her business and the hate comes unprovoked. Now, if she said Ari Spears looked like a broke version of Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Poe, she'd be wrong, right? Awkward black girl, she slash her slash mom. Gary Spears looks like he might get one of his legs optated any day now from his diabetes, meaning he going to lose one of his legs, or he could lose one of his legs. And he has the nerve to come for Lizzo, and who told him he was handsome? Gary Spears laying in a bed with his dusty bald head and hat on, and Lizzo at the VMAs winning. I love her for that. Meech, Liz, Lizzie, Lizzo really do just be minding her business and the hate comes unprovoked. Okay, I already read this one, but it, but they already, but Meech said this, whoever Meech is. And, and I was just reading some Twitters, tweets about um, people defending Lizzo. So that's what I'm reading right now. Another tweet, Twitter user added, Ari Spears sweating and barely breathing because he's talking, sitting down. Has really got some nerve trying to talk about Lizzo, who literally dances and sings while playing a flute so effortlessly. If men had anything, it's the audacity. It's the nerve. Ariane Nettles. Ari Spears sweating and barely breathing because he's talking sin okay i just read her tweet that's who's who, there on the one who just did that tweet i'm not gonna read it again mrs d says common sense tells you this is another twi twitter person this is me becoming silent numb and perplexed after hearing airy spears speak ill of lizzo then say he looks handsome Gary Spears could have just said no comment if he had nothing nice to say about Lizzo. Like, what was the point? Even comedian Mike Epps came to Lizzo's defense in response to Spears' remarks. He said he looked dirty and sick and has not been on TV since Mad TV. That's true. Mike Epps' response to Gary Spears' fat shaming Lizzo is the type of energy I love to see from men. Too often, men stand by and allow other men to bully, bash, and berate black women these days. Hashtag Aerie Spears. Hashtag Lizzo. While many people seem to think that the Grammy Award winning singer was finally clapping, responding, 
to Aerie Spears in her VMA's speech, acceptance speech, the juice singer has since made one thing very very clear. She wasn't just talking to him. The about damn time singer said, let me make one thing very clear. I wasn't addressing anyone in my speech last night. I was addressing everybody. And it shows her tweet saying, oh, it shows that in the tweet. So I'm just reading the tweet. And that's it. You know, that's the end of the article. So basically, I was reading, you know, tw- Twitter users, including a tweet from Lizzo responding to Ari Spears and what he had to say about her. For this man to talk about somebody look like a plate of mashed potatoes, you look like you you will eat those mashed potatoes. You look like you eat mashed potatoes in a full plate of mashed potatoes while you talking about somebody. And Lizzo look good at sweet potato pie. And you probably would be eating that sweet potato pie too if it was in front of you. Lizzo is pretty and she beautiful in the skin that she in. So she wouldn't touch you with a fat or what she wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. And another thing, Ari Spears, I'm roasting you now. You have you can't talk at no, talk about nobody. You need to look in the mirror. You look like you look like Smokey the Bear. You look like Humpty Dumpty that's ready to fall off the wall and roll down the street like Roly Poly. Like you look like a street full of potholes. Come on now, you can't talk about anybody. You need to do yourself a favor and go to the gym and work out or eat or eat healthier foods. Matter of fact, have a nutritionist. You need to hire a nutritionist and have that nutritionist cook you healthier food. Mo- healthier foods, healthier meals, because you a cheeseburger away from obese while you up there talking and then you laying in the bed and your hotel, in, a, in a video you you posted, you was laying in a look like a hotel um, room. That room looked just as dirty and must or dirty and dusty as you. And you look like a big old funky, musty, crusty, ashy man. Who can't talk about, like I said, you can't talk about nobody and you ain't been nothing. You ain't been on TV. You ain't really been in movies or nothing since Mad TV. And you up there hating on this black woman. Like I said, you wish you could, you wish you probably had as much money as her. She probably had more money than you. I know she got more fame than you. And another thing about you, the only rem- the only reason why women want to sleep with you is because the little money that you got, because it don't look like you have much. Because you getting them cheap girls, them cheap them girls who don't care, who have low self esteem, who don't care about themselves. Because a lot, because an intelligent, real woman, successful woman, wouldn't look, t- wouldn't blink twice at you. Wouldn't touch, like I said, wouldn't touch you with a ten foot pole. You know, you like I said, you need you need to go to the gym. You need to work out. You you look like you need to lose about fifty pounds, a hundred fifty to a hundred pounds. Cause you look like you like I said, you look like you got diabetes. It look like you got high blood pressure, cholesterol. When have you been to a doctor to check your to check your to do a to do a physical? And them teeth. When the last time you've been to the dentist? Because your teeth look just as dirty as you. You know, so dude, like I said, you played yourself. You embarrassed yourself by getting online. And you are not handsome. You are not good. You are not handsome. You're not good looking. You look like you at the bottom of the barrel. You look like a gutter rat. That's what you look like. A gutter snipe who needs to stay in the gutter. Literally, like, like, who are you? Like, who are you to talk about anybody? Fat shaming anybody? Like, dude, seriously, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should have been trying to uplift that woman and encourage her and root her on. And you talking about she not it or that's not it. First of all, your looks are not it. You're not it. You doing that, you doing that interview was not it. So you need to do yourself a favor and keep your mouth shut and don't put your judgment on anybody. Because you, like I said, you can't judge anybody from the looks of you. 
So like I said, what goes around or what I'm going to say is what goes around comes around and whatever you do unto others, the same can be done. The same can and will be done unto you. So think about that next time you open your mouth and speak of negative or mean about somebody. But um, yeah, that's all I got to come up with for now. I just figured I'd just roast this dude a little bit because... He ain't in no position to talk about nobody or criticize anybody. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, then you shouldn't say nothing at all, especially with the looks of him, with the sights of him, looking like a looking like an accident going somewhere to happen. You know, looking like a train wreck in in in, in motion. But um, anyway, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And like I said, I hope you all enjoy this video. And like and thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Thanks for watching. And I will be coming back with more stories, true uh more articles. So enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend because Monday is Labor Day. So have thanks for watching the video again. And you all have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.